Good morning and a hearty welcome to all of you here at our 5-minute Wisdom on the Go recording brought to you by Live Light Productions and Charles Wurta. One of Mahatma Gandhi's famous sayings goes like this, Keep your thoughts positive because your thoughts become your words. Keep your words positive because your words become your behavior. Keep your behavior positive because your behavior becomes your habits. Keep your habits positive because your habits become your values. Keep your values positive because your values become your destiny. As you may remember, we are busy with our six steps along the route of change. For memory's sake, let me just recap the first four that we've been looking at. The first one was, nothing ever changes until you do. The second one was, if you want true change, face yourself. The third one, believe you can change, then persevere. And the fourth one we're looking at today is, watch out for your unconscious along the way. Challenging yourself will feel so threatening that you may rely on defense mechanisms such as denial to avoid facing your reality. This will, in some sort of way, protect you from the anxiety of confronting some ugly truths about yourself. But it will only delay or even sabotage your road to transformation. In line with what Mahatma Gandhi said, Earl Nightingale also said, Whatever we plant in our subconscious mind and nourish with repetition and emotion will one day become a reality. One such reality that most people cultivated in their minds was the reality that it is impossible to run the mile under four minutes. For years and years, coaches, athletes, and all the other people believed that it was humanly impossible to run the mile under four minutes. Instead of listening to all the overwhelming voices of all the other people, Roger Bannister started out to prepare for a sub-four-minute mile. As can be expected, he was laughed at, ridiculed, called insane, and a whole lot of other names. But he persevered, kept on training, and eventually on the 6th of May 1954, at the Ifley Road Track in Oxford, he succeeded in running the mile in 3 minutes and 59.4 seconds. So what was the deciding factor and the difference between Roger Bannister and the other mile runners? Only one thing, the programming of their subconscious minds. Let me try to explain it to you this way. With every experience you have, you draw certain conclusions and store the messages that will guide your future actions. Previously, most of these runners might have believed that they could run the mile under four minutes. But every time they've tried it, they failed. So they started to believe that they cannot do it and it is humanly impossible to do it. Their subconscious mind, that clever detective, would immediately go hunting through their memories and found enough evidence that it is humanly impossible. Based on their own experience, what other people said was possible, and that just confirmed their belief that it is impossible to run the mile under four minutes. Now here's the interesting thing. If you've had an experience that conflicts with an already established belief, your subconscious mind will either reject it or reframe it so it goes along with your existing view of reality. I'm sure that during Roger Bannister's training, he and his coach came to realize that it was indeed possible for Roger to break the four-minute barrier. So they've decided, regardless of all the naysayers, they were going to focus on a new goal, to run the mile under four minutes. The moment they've pushed the barriers in their head aside 
and decided to focus on a new goal, the impossible became possible. As I have told you many times before, God specializes in making the impossible possible, regardless of how foolish it seems to us. Noah, build me an ark right in the middle of the desert. He surely was the laughing stock of all the neighbors. But because he knew and trusted the one who commanded him to build the ark, he went ahead regardless of what people would say. The God we serve are bigger than all the barriers that other people have placed in our heads. So you can change. The question is, do you want to change? Join us next week again for the next step on our journey of change.